Hey there, Tall Man Clan. We are at the Florida RV Super Show and the video review that you're about to watch is a segment of a longer stream that we did. So it's not gonna be as detailed as our normal long form content, but we hope you enjoy. 191RL, okay? And so per normal, we'll start on the outside, guys. And I'm gonna give that to Lisa. All righty. Um, I can't get to the front storage compartment because there's a tent there, I apologize. Yeah, but, there is. Uh, there is some front storage up there. And as you see, there's an awning that covers the entire side of it, which is really nice. Yeah, and very the nice. whole thing is covered. Yeah. Um, single axle, which is great. You have sort of a, I don't wanna call it an outdoor kitchen, but you've got a little micro fridge here, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. But a really decent sized storage over here behind it. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that is really cool. Yeah. Uh, so um, there is a ladder back here to get on the top to see what's going on up there. In fact, you know what? Hey, shh, don't tell anybody. There he goes again. Right here. Oh, stretch. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. There's so on board. Yeah, take a look at what's going on around here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there's some solar on board already, which is nice. There you go, Lisa. Thank you. You never saw that. Shh, shh. Okay. All right, let's go inside. All right. Okay. All right. So this is another one of those sort of neat conversion types, right? Yeah. Making use of all the space. It's not exactly a Murphy bed setup, but that is the bed. So this sofa sort of converts down to be flat. And then you would take the mattress, which is right there, and flip it out. Yeah. So that becomes your bedroom, all right? Um, there's some storage above there for your clothes and things. All right, nice. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Friday afternoon. I, I, I like the bedrooms that are in the front that got the little window up there. I do, too. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. There's some power up there, USB charging ports. There's a little sort of nightstandy sort of thing here, or end table, whichever you're using it for, mm -hmm. okay, when we turn completely around, the TV is right there, but I'm pretty sure it's on a swivel, um, and it would come out to sort of face the bedroom, and uh, as well as uh, the, the sofa. It might be locked in place, Lisa, you want me to mess with it? Um, if yeah, you yeah. want, there's, it's, it's a little bit more complicated than what I'm used to looking yeah, it at. Just, it just pulls out. There bit. you go, just, okay. Just like the uh, door, she's just going to pull on it a little bit. And, you know, I don't want to break anything, so <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's brand new. It's still tight. What you want to tight because you don't want it flopping around. Oh, okay? exactly. Yep. Exactly. On the other side here is your banquette. Now, it, it's on a slide that's raised. You see how far off the ground it is? So, just like before with uh, the other side. Right. The tall man is about people. You're definitely on the outside, right? So you'd want to sit here so that you're, you know, because if I'm trying to scooch, you know, I could be hitting my head and I don't want to. This is actually nearly as bad as the other one we were in. Oh, okay. The other one, if you remember, my head was yeah. really close. Yeah. So this one isn't as bad. Very nice. Okay. Mm. You do have um, your, your uh, dining room table, which uh, these poles come out, and then this sits on these little bumper things right there, and that can become a bed. Very nice. Uh, also, as you see, there's some storage underneath. Mm -hmm. So we're making use of all of that. Some generous storage in there. Okay. And as we turn around the other way, there's your kitchen. Yeah. Okay. So we have, I love this faucet. We have a, a large single basin sink. Okay. And, whoops, I'm dropping everything here. There we go. Um, underneath here, we have a two burner gas stove. Um, we have a little bit of storage here. And down microwave. below is our microwave, oh, yeah. yeah. And then we have um, a store drawer there. So over here is the refrigerator freezer. This is 12 nice volt. Size Remember there's solar on board. I don't know. Uh, this is know cold. This. Yeah. yeah. I need to climb in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit warm here in the sun, but at least the AC's pumping in here, so it's not That's too bad. That's true. That's not true, too. yeah. And then behind the refrigerator, there's sort of a little, uh, Maybe a food pantry or yep. additional place to hang some clothes, right? So mm -hmm. we supposedly can use it for whatever, mm -hmm. right? The drawers are kind of thin. There's no support underneath. So if you are putting heavy things in there, you might need to put a little support extra in there or whatever. Reinforce it a little right? bit. There's some yeah. in there. Yeah. As you see, they got their own little curtains. All right. So there's some privacy for those who sleep in the bunks. 
Um, these bunks usually have either a 250 pound or 300 pound limit. I, I don't see the sticker that says it, but they're either 250 or three. Um, they're never more than that. Okay. Yeah, I don't see it so, either. Uh, more for the kids than the adults, but you can fit an adult up there. Yeah. Now let me give this to Lisa because there's only one more door to look through. And you know what that means. It's time for Thomas Toilet Test. Ah! I am six foot four, so use my height as reference. And as you saw, uh, there's plenty of room in here, which is nice. Uh, we've got a little sink here. It's not a corner sink, but it is shoved in the corner. There is no extra countertop space here. Um, that kind of sucks. But we are in a really tiny trailer, right? This is not big. It is not big at all. But you know what? We um, have those little, you know, toothbrush holders and yeah. things that with nano tape. Yeah, you can stick them up here in the and, wall. Yep, they would go right there yeah. against the wall. Yeah, just because space doesn't mean you, you know, mm -hmm. what is it? The uh, in command, uh, command. Command. It's just command. Command, right? So, yep. in fact, even in our RV, we don't do it in the bathroom, but in the bedroom, I have my hats hung up on the wall. Right. You know, we, storage space and so we got those little hooks with the little tape and well even in the shower we put the toothbrushes oh, in there the, so the yeah tape. with the command um, there's also something called alien tape out there mm -hmm. um it, it goes by a couple different names you can get it on amazon i think we did a video about it we had a link somewhere but um it's like a reusable sticky sort of tape um it leaves no residue it doesn't rip anything um we have, if you've ever watched our live streams, when we're actually in our RV, we've got a couple of like little round lights that glow. Those are on shelves that are just stuck up there with that nano tape. Yep. So there's ways to use the wall space when there's nothing there. Absolutely. Without screwing into it since you don't know really what's behind it. Absolutely. So okay. if you like this floor plan, don't take that as a negative. Yep. There are ways around that. All right, so there's a little bit of storage underneath. Yep. Right, you do have a little medicine chest and of course, uh, I, I, oh, sorry. I can only see from <laughs> from here down. So if you're tall like me, you, you ain't doing your hair in that mirror. It works fine for me. <laughs> yeah, speak for yourself. I just have to bend over. I bent over and turned off the darn light. All right, so let's get no, that's the shower. funny. I'm a little worried about that. Okay, I am completely up in the bubble. I am a finger's width away from the top of the bubble. Okay, um, width wise. Um, it's got this strange little rounded lip. I think it's made to almost be like a tiny tub, maybe for washing a, an animal or something. Yeah, maybe so. Because right, it's got the little drainer strainer thing that you could close off and let water. Oh yeah. You mm -hmm. know, build up in there, so maybe you can you know wash a pet in here. But from a big person standpoint, my feet are a little bit squashed in here. Okay, um, it's not bad. We're just pointing that out to you so that you can sort of get the feel of it okay so six four is about going to be the max on that shower all right uh, 